All right, let's get this started. Welcome back to another one of Renee's permissionless redesigns. For the next little while, you'll be hanging out with me, Renee, on RevFlow's official channel, where we discuss some of the best tips and tactics and strategies and sort of walk you through the, the best designs in the e-commerce space today. Just a note, this is a live recording or live at the time of recording. So bear with me as we sort of stumble through and uh, change our mind on some of the design choices. Let's get into it. Uh, Tecovis is our company for today, tecovis.com. They are a handmade uh, leather boot company primarily. They also have bags and um, different apparel for both men and women. I have to admit, right off the bat, I am not a cowboy boot person. Um, I, I think they're beautiful in their own way, um, but I don't personally wear them. However, uh, in searching and kind of uh, scrolling through and learning about their company, this company is very interesting, and they're interesting in the fact that the founder um, himself, I believe, let's see, I think his, his name is Paul, maybe? I scrolled through to the first. Yeah, Paul. He was tired of either very, qual very high quality boots at a very premium price and or um, low quality boots at a, a affordable price. He wanted to sort of bridge the gap because at, at the time he even created Tecovis, there was not much um, in that space. So just learning that, that, the fact that they are trying to bring some very high quality but not throw a markup in the in the pricing and also don't go through a middleman. They wanted to sell it directly to consumer, which is the beautiful thing about most DTC in the e-commerce world. So I'm going to just kind of scroll through this, um, the website here and right, right at the gate, there's some beautiful boots and, uh, different, you know, different leathers that you can order different styles. One thing they do claim is this sort of timeless style. So, Nothing crazy fancy, um, but gorgeously um, fabricated so that they, they are in style, technically still in style, no matter if it's 20 or 30 years from now. So they do have a couple, um, you know, little, um, I guess, side directions or what to do on the site. A couple of the best sellers different colors within the bestsellers, so that's nice. Goods and accessories, they also show you, you know, some other things that they have, also purses and duffel bags and things like that. <clears throat> um, they do claim that they are different because they are spending a lot of time on the, the way it's made. They also say, you know, there's no matter what, you'll be happy with what you get. Um, where's the, let's see, where was that one thing? Yeah, free exchanges, free shipping, free return. Uh, we stand by everything we make. We promise quality, comfort, fit, and style. These are some pretty big uh, claims for a company, and so it's very beautiful to see at least a couple of the e-commerce um, companies doing this. So that that's kind of nice. <clears throat> um, so we are here to discuss the email very specifically, the email design and um, some of the some of the things that this company could do or is doing correctly. And the first email we got was this one. So Tecovis uh, is sort of like a, just a a warming up email. Um, it, it's just a letter from the founder. So, hello friend, I, I started this because I'm sick of high priced boots uh, that are good quality and then there's really nothing um, in the cheap world that, I don't know, um, suited him. And then they give a little uh, boot making process uh, here and then 
how we're different, meaning like that they stand behind everything and how it's made and inspections and things like that. And then it's just a nice little all of the best Paul. So he ends it uh, with his name, founder, and that's about it. So no real call to action. But then the second one, uh, second email that came through when we went through and signed up uh, the emails was this one. And um, honestly, it's, you know, it's uh, not my favorite design, but it is nice. You know, they do show uh, the product, mainly in these subcategories. They show them here and here. And um, So what we're going to do is we are going to redesign this email. And I will screenshot it. screenshot it up to here and there's going to be a couple things that I personally would like to do with this email so. and mainly being uh, this front image so <clears throat> the front image is not bad but the tagline is um, it's not bad but the issue that I have is like, I can't see the boot, right? I can't see the quality necessarily. I can't see a close up. Um, and the incentive of the whole thing to get me back is these boots are no joke. Doesn't really pull any strings for me. Um, I, don't, I don't necessarily absolutely want to click on this button. You know, this, this header right here is not the most uh, impressive thing that I've ever seen. So. There's not really um, a draw to get me back to the website, so that's kind of what we're going to talk about in the redesign. All right, so as always, I start with a screenshot just of the email, plain and simple. And I will drag them into Photoshop. Constantly closing other projects. Okay. So here we are, simple email screenshot. And I have sort of, you know, went through the site a little longer than just this review. So I've gotten to know these, um, these guys, this, this company, just a little bit, just through kind of scrubbing through some of the pages here, some of their products and all of that. And one thing that really caught my eye in this email Is it in this one? No, nope, I'm sorry. In the last email, they have this section right here. Handmade boot making process. Learn more. So I clicked on this. And it brought up this page. And then it came to this section where it says, our boots and how they're made. And for me to see this on a website, it it is a prime example of actually showing the quality and actually justifying the price because to some people these are expensive to some people they're you know that's a great price but these boots are two three four five hundred dollars so you do want to make sure that this is shown so i kind of i went through here see a uh, world-class boot maker top quality leather hand laid cording which is this is a little crazy to me this is um you know how they um, how they press that in there and uh, stitch around it. It makes the design on the, the top of the boot. And someone is hand stitching the quarters, the the top of the boot there. <clears throat> Custom shoe shoe sizes, cork bed lining, lemon wood peg, stacked leather heels. Um, they even uh, they even go ahead and then stain the whole thing and then inspection. Um, so I, I then scrolled to this and this video, which I'm going to play. This is very well done in my video production opinion.
really quite a, a gorgeous video too, just to showcase. You know, it's I think boot making and shoe making in general. Everything so reinforced. Not, not just like the boots you find it. <laughs> Unless there's a chico with it. I had to watch it, this whole thing again. Beautiful. Okay. Gorgeous. So that uh, is such a, an, an incredible thing uh, for me to see, especially, you know, to showcase um, and show the the person, the potential buyer. Um, I'm trying to think right now, um, maybe what I would like to show, this is a, a nice, comfortable, incredibly well made. It's a nice little quote, could be added. We stand by everything we stand for, which is uh, also really nice. <clears throat> Fast shipping, high quality materials, no questions asked, returns and exchanges. Not, again, I'm not a really uh, a boot person, but be enticing to own a pair of boots for a very long time. 200 handmade steps. Okay, so um, one thing I'm, I'm trying to think of is I really wanted to showcase uh, in an email this beautiful process of, we'll mute it for now, but these steps involved in making this is, is really quite interesting. So I'm trying to think, um, you know, I'd love a email with just the, the video in the background. Um, but if not that, maybe we can showcase uh, just some of the steps involved and possibly like a close up. I mean, this is, these are gorgeous photos right here. So maybe we do a, a combo of these um, photos. Or maybe like a little montage and that like this is this is a gorgeous photo um, now not all uh, emails have to have a, a, a callback or a, an incentive but I think for these guys um, they would probably benefit even just saying free shipping free returns free exchanges again um, to remind the customer 5% uh, off or any percent off really um, and or like a free wallet or a free something would be nice. So we're going to go ahead and just use free shipping, free returns, and free exchanges. We're going to go ahead and just use this, pretending they don't want to give any incentive because, you know, how they might not be able to justify any more price deduction on their product, which is fine. I'm starting to realize, like, maybe these are just as valuable as they say, um, and there's not really much room to you know, to compromise or to put in there. Um, he speaks of honest prices so many times. And after you watch that, I mean, you kind of, I don't know, you know, exactly how much anyone in here is, is 
paid from the boot that they just made, but you're kind of like, all right, I justify its full cost. Um, it's not being mass, mass produced or mass manufactured, which is again, very rare for uh, a, com a company rather, not just an e-commerce company, but a company these days. This is like the exact opposite of, if this is drop shipping, this is the exact opposite is to go this. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's, let's do this. So um, the, let me make sure I have this on the, I think this is a, exactly the same. Um, let me just make sure I have the colors correct from the home page. Yeah, it looks like the same colors. Nice. Um, one thing that I think that they would benefit from is definitely removing the nav bar here. Um, not because it sucks, not because it's not laid out well. It's just uh, we want to direct them um, to come back and to buy a very specific, uh, it's a very specific ask, right? So we're just going to get rid of that for now. Tecovis right there is very simple and it's sweet and fine. Um, let's see, I like a, a, I like quite a few of these photos, but maybe, maybe this one, Oops. this one, this one, maybe we'll do like a three. The cork lining is not bad. This is also not bad. It does say lemon wood pegs to hold in the um, heel. If you've ever bought a cheap boot or uh, rather like shoe or anything and the, the sole has fallen off, you know it's probably not a handmade item. Let's do that. And I also, I really like this, um, this photo right here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do something. I'm going to use their free shipping, free returns, free exchanges as the, um, uh, I guess, as the like words to get them back. And then I want to make a, a CTA, right? I want them to come back and shop all of the boots. Um, so I'm going to do that by first. And look at the, the detail on this is gorgeous. If you got here and you were kind of interested before, I think that they're doing a really good job. Um, educating us on how it was made. Of course, this chat thing is going to be in, in my way. Let's see if we can get this. Uh, Shopify does a very good job of putting all of their images. Here it is. Copy link address. Paste. There it is. Awesome. There it is. Awesome. Okay. Yep, oh, it's still coming through. Um, we are going to do it a different way. The roundabout way. <clears throat> okay. So let's go ahead and jump back to the um, page that we wanted to find this. this bigger so we could see the photo bigger and again I think I like that. I like all of these but I like this one I think this should honestly be on the home page I like this one and I do like seeing it hand stitched as well <clears throat> okay 
Um, again, our incentive is going to be um, free shipping, free returns, free exchanges, and then um, the CTA can be determined by this. I, I don't mind this CTA. I wonder if it'll fit on this boot. I might have to make this a little darker. Or maybe switch this up. Yeah, all their CTAs seem to be Shop now, 225. Get the goods is not bad. Find your boots. Um, let's make this say shop now, and then I will take that as a CTA. Hang tight, everybody. Shop now. Let's take that. <clears throat> and um, we might even take this as a uh, a little welcome blurb. Let's see. Let's make sure that they know kind of how it's made first, or they're reminded if they saw it, if they didn't see it already. So we're going to get on to this. Mm -mm. We'll mask that out, apply it to these others. Don't mind the picture touching the picture. It's kind of got this like a rich, leathery feel to it all. And I think what we're going to do I think what we're going to do is sort of make a just a slight easy photo montage and sort of dim it all down. Oof, that already looks nice. It's like starting to establish the feeling. Right, without it, it's just the sky and a, some words, which is fine, but it doesn't really give me a feeling of, oh, I wanted to go back and see how they were made, or I want to go back and see what that price was. And they're telling me free shipping. Steal. This is, oh, these are so close in size.
didn't like that already. This guy. And that, honestly, that is a nice email just like that. Or just a header just like that. Um, so we gotta place it there. Uh, and we're going to form it there. Grab a just like a dark mahogany. Oops. That's not what I wanted. None of these are quite their style, so we're gonna have to find a way. We'll multiply and just, just want to bring it down. Hmm, I know what I'll do. This is nice, but we don't need to see the whole group. And then we will just take this part of it. Oops. Mm, almost. Put one little part down here. I can almost not tell. Oops, almost. Oops. A little imperfectness and voila. Okay, now very neat. We need to, or I need to, darken the top of this. Brush. Uh, let's go ahead and just use the black. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, we'll fix it. Not bad. Not bad, still feels pretty rich. Um, and in their own words, I'm going to find the shipping to the plantation. I'm not really sure what this um, shipping to the plantations. I want to try to find their that might be fine. This might as a font this might be fine. We'll try. 
And as always, always we uh, do these redesigns a little quicker. Um, one thing you should be doing in your email is always finding the font and just typing it in. Um, you should not just populate it with a bunch of images. It's not going to come through as uh, valid or spam free email. Okay, shipping. Oops. So I think I think that's I think that's quite a, enough to get them through the door. Let's see if this see if we can format this well. <laughs> so probably like, what the heck is she doing? Why? What are you doing? Because I need this to be on the same line. Okay. Not sure where the natural place was, but. Renee, wouldn't it have been faster if you just found the font? Yes, the font family is Jim, Sam, Sarah. Let's see if Jim font is available. It is an Adobe font. Um, let's see if I have linked fonts. Let's see, I don't have you sign in. Okay. Uh, Okay, let's see if we can find. Oh, it's the wrong way out in the way. Okay, let's take it from the site. Gonna have to do this. Not even spelling exchanges today. Probably you saw that way before I did. Okay. Now, exchanges. We'll take this. Now, let's head over to Photoshop. Let's head over to fonts. Put this in here. I need to do some moving this around. That's that's kind of interesting though. Okay, let's first um, get rid of the green. Let's create 
change it to black and white. Void of all color. Back to blue. I still don't know what it's coming in. Looking for screen. There we go. Okay. And I don't want this. I don't want this. And I do not want this. those. This will be my beautiful new look now I'm trying to figure out where it goes. Um, I know we pushed that over there and this is what I meant by live. Maybe we put this back in the center. Okay. Maybe we keep them center focused. I don't mind doing that. This, is, after all, this is um, all centered here. Good. Let me throw a center marker in here. My CTA, I was going to use this, uh, which is green. So we have to figure out if that even fits. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know if I love it with the, um, I'm just trying to think if I want this white or not. Let's see what invert looks like. That's really not that bad. I Or lighten. Let's go with lighten. That's kind of classy. And we will take this down a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not bad, not bad. Um, we are going to have to pump this down, drop this down just a little bit. It's a little too much, I realize, but multiply it. See already even just that little subtle little bit you can still see some some detail on the uh, leather boot but yet it really lets that um, the headline or uh, copy if you will be a lot more legible hmm see maybe that does need centering back a bit Add. maybe steal our color no it's gonna have to go well I think we'll bring back their green I think that's great actually so shop now, there's a clear CTA we got going on. Free shipping, free returns, free exchanges. That looks nice. It does kind of entice me like, oh, I, you know, might have forgotten that they had these things. Centered and nice. Um, I'm not super sold on that font, but it is a font um, that is brand matched. It's 
see if we get any. I think it, it just, I think it looks a little big. I don't love that font. And this font is okay, it's just not as uh, punchy or it's not as big and bold, I guess. Okay, so now that we have that, let's see if this will work. Looks like with a little more spacing. Nah. And we want to see if this would benefit from just a small break. See that? Yeah, maybe. Uh, let's see it without it. Yeah, I don't know. Both I, I like. We'll, we'll go ahead and give it a small break just for the eyes. <clears throat> and we'll then take and extend this because we're going to put more here. I think, that, I think that's a gorgeous photo though. And for Tacovis, maybe if the person was just a, you know, just a first time viewer, finder, or something of the website, let's go ahead and make sure they know. Um, just take my hand down there. Let's see if they have Tacovis. I want like a little tagline. New takes on Timeless Western. Hmm. Interesting, I should probably copy this. But yeah, I like this. I stand by everything we stand for is a very nice sentence. Hmm. Trying to find world class boot maker. So I don't know if that's too short or not enough words, but I 
So some, maybe, maybe some sort of little tagline or something just so that they know again uh, where, um, what they were or what this site was or, you know, um, just another little like, hey, remember us instead of saying that exact thing. <clears throat> or if they had a tagline of their own that I just can't seem to find, that would be good as well. Okay, so high standards for quality, comfort, fit, and style. All these words are great words, um, you know, especially when someone's kind of leafing through here and figuring out, do I really want these? Um, high standard, quality, comfort, fit, it's all, it's all very good. This could be um, just a little bit of the hello part, right? So we would cater um, and figure out what um, what language the customer is speaking, how the company already engages with their customers, and that sort of thing. So let me move this. So this for now just says this, but it would say, you know, hey, welcome back. We appreciate you visiting the site. Um, basically, do you, do you remember we have free shipping or something like that? And I will actually shrink this a little more. Got to be classy. The whole site, everything is classy. Now I don't even love the outline here. I'm going to be picky and mess with that. Better. Gooch there. Gooch a gooch to there. Okay. <clears throat> so that's sort of the, the little intro part. Um, we again could have, I mean, I think sometimes, uh, let's see. This, like this as a graphic is kind of nice just to showcase again. We stand by everything we stand for is really nice. Oh, this quote is fun. Uh, I took this quote earlier and I wanted to drop it in except with a, um, I'll show you like a, not just like this. I wanted to drop it in with sort of like a faded boot. Let's see if we can do like a faded boot leather background or something. I'm just gonna go find. This is nice. This is a really, this is a really good photo. We won't use the whole thing. Just maybe a little sad. Not bad overlay. Gives it some color. Hmm. Let's 
see if we can do Oh yeah, it's probably not going to just let us Ah. Not dissolve. Let's see if we can do a combo here. Linear light, yep, and lighten. That is what I wanted. So, let's try that last time again. Last one in there. Oops. Copy the mask down there. That is what I wanted. Okay, so something like that. Gorgeous. Um, from piece, and you know what? This uh, is debatable. This might even go up here, and then the um, the like reminders of of what is all in, done. I'm gonna switch it up um, just a little bit, so we ha we still have the CTA above the fold, right? So we kind of call this the fold. This right here is the CTA, the main one. Um, this, the, I think these images, all of this will be clickable as well, just in case the viewer does see this and click. Um, but I think I'm going to, I'm going to keep it like this because I think that these are important to see right off the bat and then they can go to see what else is here. So we have, um, logo, they know where they're coming from. Uh, we have the different steps involved in making the boot. Uh, we have this gorgeous photo, like that's probably one of my favorite on their website. Free shipping, free returns, free exchanges. What do you got to lose? Here, shop now. This will be a blurb. Remember, this is just, um, this will be like creatively written, um, or you should probably make sure you spend time and creatively write something there. But a uh, little welcome blurb, and then some copy going back to the shop now, so another CTA. Here's some proof, um, basically reading someone else's uh, testimonial and um, let's see I don't know really I, I would include many other things but the first and first couple emails should be pretty simple <clears throat> um, thanks for stopping by talk to us about us sign up for a newsletter etc yeah, so, you know, maybe just a, a footer, a typical footer in, in this color, I think is fine. I'm trying to figure out where my... Uh, oops, let's put this here. Asperize all my and um, you know, I would put something I would probably take something like this. Again, uh, different wording, but to help break up the space and um, really feel like a part of the website, bringing a lot of the, the brand back into the email. Brands without email stay on level one. I mean, email without branding stays on level one. That's all. Cool, I like it. This, that, and another thing. 
Now we're talking about a classy email. Um, so again, these words and the phrases that we chose and everything, this is just a, a, a mock-up, right? It's just a temporary um, a look. Right, so that you do get this email and you're like, wow, their email is gorgeous. Just makes me want to go back to the site. So let's save this to Clovis. Okay. And just as a reminder, uh, let's bring up the last one. So um, this is what we had. to start with, right? Not a bad start, really. Um, Actually, not a bad start at all. But there are several things in here. I mean, one, the nav bar is kind of just getting in the way for me. It, this is now saying boots, bags, accessories, jeans. Ah, oh, they got too much stuff and I'm out. So I kind of, I lose my focus. These boots are no joke is fine, but they don't, this as a, a phrase doesn't pull me back in. Shop all boots, shop all boots, maybe, just because I know they have uh, a lot of different styles. But maybe saying like, did you check out all the different styles would have been a better tactic to drop me back in. So instead, um, Instead of just this guy and he's wearing the boots, um, I don't know, maybe you want to be like that guy, but uh, I put uh, my focus on the first email in really uh, in explaining the process and how well these boots are made and that they are quality just by seeing um, the, how well the boots are made. And if I, can, if I kind of scroll through here, it'd be a little welcome email, nicely branded. Um, staying on CTA, right? That's the color of their CTA through the whole website. So it makes sense. Uh, it's the color of the CTA on their email. Best boots I've ever owned, super comfortable, very focused, um, uh, very focused quote right here. Another little blurb could say whatever the company or whatever you want it to say. And then just a little footer or what, whatever they would want. But um, all in all, uh, I think this was a, an email redesign that didn't have a dramatic makeover. However, uh, I think these little things make a huge difference. So really putting time and focus into the, the feel of the email, <laughs> the, the energy that uh, you're trying to share or trying to communicate very in, a, uh, in the most visual way possible. All right, guys, that's what I got for you today. And I will see you next time. Have an awesome one.